Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I've completed uh, my first day of field test with the Phantom 3's latest firmware. Now, obviously, I'm using the uh, the Phantom 3 Professional that you see here. So, um, worked really well. Now, I've got to I've got to more thoroughly test because I don't I don't have that many batteries. So I've got to more thoroughly test the uh, the features. But I was very impressed with the point of interest, and I think that's something once I master it, it'll really make orbiting, uh, you know, 360 degree around an object, it'll make that a lot more streamlined. Because in the past, I've done it manually, and I felt that I did a pretty good job at it. You can check out my cruise ship video and, and a few others where I orbited really cool objects, but wasn't optimal. And by having the POI feature, that's probably a feature that I will use quite considerably for my videos. And then also obviously it's got the waypoint, which I'm not really that concerned about that for what I do as a hobbyist, just going out and having fun. Um, but I, I think there could be some fun scenarios with the waypoint. So I'm gonna investigate that one in the near future. And then also the follow me, uh, that's something I wanna dive into. But at the end of day one, my opinions are, are highly favorable. It, the Phantom itself flew really well. And if you've, if you've dealt with previous firmware updates, you may have encountered some that really seem to break a lot of stuff. Not permanently break stuff, but break it in a way to where you would have to troubleshoot and, and you had to calibrate your IMU and those sorts of things. And so far, fortunately, I haven't encountered any issues with the latest firmware, the firmware that was released today, September the 7th of 2015. So from that perspective, I'm extremely satisfied. And again, it's hard to it's hard to thoroughly review something unless you've been out in the field with it a lot more. And you know, as I mentioned, having a few batteries, I've it's I'm going to have to throttle it. So hopefully, if the weather permits, I'm going to get back out and really test the uh, the follow me features and then also the uh, the waypoint. But I'm very impressed with the POI, the point of interest. So tell me what you think. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And again, check the link within this video's description for 400 or below.com because you can find, uh, I feature everything that I use on that website. So everything from the quick disconnect, well, the, obviously the Phantom 3 and the, and the Sun Hood and the quick disconnect prop guards and the carbon fiber props and the, and the camera and gimbal guard. You can find it all there. And feel free to drop me a line if there's anything you need and you can't find. Uh, just go to facebook.com forward slash Irix guy. That's my fan page and you can ask me uh, uh, any questions that you may have and I'll, I'll try my best to try my best to answer. But yeah, good, good first day experience with the latest Phantom 3 firmware. And I hope that if you've had uh, the chance to test the latest Phantom 3 firmware as well, tell me what you think because my, my opinions are very favorable. I will confess, though, it was confusing to figure out how to access um, the new features <laughs> that the firmware introduced. But once you figure that out, it's, it's uh, pretty much cut and dry, at least so far. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash Yeah, Y'all have a good day.